Hello, tech friends. Something a little different today. <laughs> They're all different, aren't they? Look at this. This is a game player with calculator and clock made by Innovage. Look at that device, eh? The old screen at the top there and looks like a numeric keypad at the bottom. Suggested retail price, $14.99. Well, I only picked it up for £2 in a charity shop in the UK. Um, I think I got a bargain. <laughs> Let's find out if I did. See, it says here, hundreds of ways to play. Um, 10 fun games with 10 speeds and multiple levels. Volume control with mute. Coloured LCD screen. Rubberized grip. <laughs> you don't want it falling out of your hands and someone stealing it. Um, clock with alarm. Calculator. And there's a calendar as well. And it's, I think that's displaying the calendar there and the time and the date. Um, coloured LCD screen. I mean, the background is coloured. Um, we'll get into that in a second. Now, this company, Innovage, Innovage LLC, um, I've had a look on the internet. Like, there's not much information about them. Their website doesn't work anymore, innovage.net, so I'm not sure if they're still going. Um, and it says on the, on the internet that they're a wholesale supplier of office uh, office things, toys, and other products. Fastening supplies. Wow. This is better than a fastener, isn't it? Okay, let's pop this open and see what we've got. Okay, we've also got the instructions in the bag, in the box too, which are useful for things like setting the time and the date and the alarm, stuff like that. Um, so we'll pop that to one side. Let's just have a little look around the device. We've got our direction pad here, up, down, left and right. Start or pause button. There's a specific game button. Looks to be one, like fire button. We've got an on off button, volume control there. And that's about it. It takes two AAA batteries, which have already been supplied. So fantastic work in the old charity shop there. Um, and then that's, that's like the speaker hole, isn't it? Okay, right, so. This is the best feature. Let me pop this open. Huh? Look at that. It's like one of those, uh, one of those slow closed toilet seats. Uh, <laughs> um, I mean, if you if you want to pull this out in a hurry and play some games on it, you've got to wait some time, haven't you, to push that in and. Do, do, do. I suppose it gives you time to think about what one of the ten games at ten different speeds you actually want to play. Um, okay, let's zoom in a bit and take a closer look at that screen and some of the functions. Okay, here's the screen. I've hit reset already, so I think this is the date set at 010101 with the time at 12.04. Um, so you actually set the date and time. This is the rustling of the instructions you can hear um, in a bit of a strange way. So you have to press clock first, so you make sure you're in the clock mode, which I... When I press clock, it um, disappears and then it comes back when I press it again. Um, and you press down on the little direction pad here. Let's just give that a go to set the, the, the time. Now, I'd like to be able to type this in, of course. Will it let me do that? No, those buttons don't work. Here we go. Okay, so you press down to go into set mode and you press up to change the actual value of the field you're in is quite confusing. There we go. So we're in the year 2022. And then you press uh, left to move on to the next one. Mm. And that beeping just gets better and better, doesn't it? Oh, we're late on in the month. Can I press the volume button? Will it go away? Yeah, there we go. OK, we've got rid of the sound. You might consider it was its best feature. Uh, you'd be wrong. Um, you press left again. And then now we're into the hours, um, and let's just set it for three o'clock, three o six, something like that. And then you press the button again. There we go. Time is now set. Okay. Now if I press down twice, I go into setting um, the alarm mode, and that way, if I put it on three o six, what? I guess that's our ringtone. We can, we, whoop, whoop, that's, there we are. I mean, I shouldn't get in the way of such beautiful music. Okay, great, right. So, um, let's just keep, pre okay, that's enough of that. Uh, we'll press left, 
and now we're out we're out of setting mode so we've sort of set the time and date there you can see it's very much like a tetris display isn't it um right let's try out the calculator that's access by pressing c and then we type in the numbers That is a really horrible noise. Oh look, it's showing me the actual sort of um, calculation symbols um, as I'm pressing them. <laughs> I mean, I'd be pretty annoyed if I, someone pulled that out in a very important business meeting. Um, so I've, I've got a calculator, don't worry, I'll do the sums for you. Um, and then they start pressing it and it makes a load of noise. Um, okay, let's have a look at if we can get through the menu. So that was game 01. Let's just try pressing start. Okay, there we go. This is a tank game. This is much more like it. Okay, so you've got to shoot, shoot these tanks. The noise is just unbearable. Okay, those are the enemy tanks. They look like they're quite happy to... Shoot me. Okay. Come on, let's at least try and kill one tank. Where's he going to come from? Oh! Yeah, gotcha. Um, not what I would consider a, an easy game to play. I mean, I'm really... These buttons are very rubbery. <laughs> Whoa! Rubbish. Okay. Let's hit reset. And then we'll go to game, and okay, yeah, we've seen that, mate. Um, and then if I press game, okay, that's what selects between the different games. So we've got different letters of games, and that looks like breakout. Let's give that a go. Uh, get back round to um, B again. Here we go. Okay, right, B. B for breakout. Let's start. Okay, firing the old brick. It's coming back down. This is something that kind of a kind of game which would rely on a slightly higher resolution to be playable in any way. Um, so, a pretty basic breakout clone. <laughs> clone. I mean, is that a compliment in this case? Um, okay, right. Let's reset. We know what's going on with that one, and then oh. Okay. You know, when you reset it and the battery and the and the sound just keeps on playing. <laughs> okay. So B, we've seen that one. C. What's this one called? So that first one was called Tank Attack. The second one was called Wall Smasher. Now we've got double wall smasher. Mm. Let's give that a whirl. Uh so I think you're actually sort of fighting against someone here. Oh yeah, look, there's another player at the top. Um, and you, I guess you're, it's like Pong, but you've got stuff in between. Um, another classic. That's enough of that one. Uh, pressing the game button. Um, and then B, C, D. Okay, this one is Road Race. Okay, yeah. I can move left and right and turn the volume down. Or indeed off. Um, oh, this is great. This is just like a, I guess just, you're obviously supposed to be a car. Um, although you look like a human. Quite difficult to draw a car with the uh, resolution we're working with here. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, so that one's all right. I'm a fan of that particular one. Uh, reset. We press the old... I keep accidentally pressing the game button. Okay. Okay, B. So that was uh, D. What about Alien Assault? This has got to be Space Invaders, hasn't it? Oh, this, sh this shape at the top is seeming very familiar. Oh, he's coming for me. Whoa! Steady on, mate. Can I fire at him? Oh, something's happening. I'm not sure you can see it too clearly, that. The actual bullets being fired are very fast. Yeah, that's a bit of a tricky one. Okay. Uh, these these games have been uh, dreadful to fantastic. Um, no, no, no. They haven't been fantastic. They're all pretty dreadful. Uh, so let's skip on now to 
target blaster, which is, uh, I'm going to say, say it looks a bit like breakout. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, so you just shoot these things as they're coming down. There you go. You can see the sort of beam coming out a little bit better now. It's remembered the thing about the volume this time. Seems a bit shaky. Um, hey, that's not too bad. Can I just hold down the fire button? Uh, not if I want to move in any way. That's not a bad little game. I think that one's pretty good. Reset. Press the game. Oh, silence. Um, again, it is very easy to press the wrong button on here. Okay. Okay. Let's try out. Serpent maze. Right, okay. We'll donate the walls. That's, uh, that's a good piece of advice. Um, yeah, there we go. We're going around picking up stuff. This is Snake. Um, I mean, it gets to a point. It gets to a point where um, you have clones of games so many times you actually have an issue with um, coming up with original names. But Serpent Maze, I mean, Slithering Sid. Uh, I don't know what other names you could really come up with there. I mean, it's okay. Mm, that one's all right. Obviously, because Snake is a class game, and if you don't like it, then there's something wrong with you. Uh, okay, right, game. So we are now on to... There's only two left. <laughs> what treats you've had. Um, okay, this is called... <laughs> uh, I've, just seen, I've just seen the name, which gives me an idea as to what kind of game it is. Um, <laughs> okay, can I... Yeah, there we go. Okay. Hey, not a bad implementation. Obviously, you recognise this game as Frogger, right? No. You've got the name of the game wrong. This is called River Jump. Um, oh. And I, what, I didn't make it to the other side? Let's try that again. Okay, so the logs are very... Uh, they're all sort of same sort of size. Okay. Is that, does that mean I've done it? Something's happened. Yeah, okay. And then you Oh, you've got to keep do it, keep going. Okay, your little your little chaps just keep coming back. Which is what a little chap should do. Okay. Oh, and then there's an explosion at the top. Hmm. Not quite sure. I'm just what does it say about the thing here? The objective of this game is to move the squirrel across the river by jumping on the moving logs. It says squirrel. Uh, I mean, never has a game required quite so much imagination. <laughs> um, some of these other descriptions are pretty cool as well. Uh, let's see. Um, Serpent Maze. The objective is to manoeuvre your snake around the screen, capturing the appearing ball. Ball? Ball? Squirrel? Uh, which is it? Um, apply some uh, imagination. Right, they've saved the best till last. This is game J. Um, let's press... Uh, the game... Oh, how do I go back? I'll oh, just press reset. That's probably faster, isn't it? And also turn the volume down. H-I-J. Uh, right. And surely this is Tetris. going to be Tetris, isn't it? I mean, the name of the game, it says here, is block building. The objective of the game is to build blocks of varying sizes as blocks descend down the screen. I mean, it sounds like it. If this isn't Tetris, I... Oh. Right. Oh, I'm shooting them? Are you kidding me? What on... What? What? What on earth? Hang on just a second. I'd better read the instructions for this. This is like Tetris, but... Um, just wrong. It says the objective of this game is to build blocks of varying sizes um, uh, uh, as blocks descend down the screen. Use the direction pad to move your craft left or right. Press either fire or game button to fire blocks at incoming blocks to build a full rectangle of squares. Once the descending blocks reaches the bottom of the screen four times, game ends. Game ends. Okay. Um, oh, I better shoot these things, I don't know. Whoa. Okay. Right, let's see if we can at least create... Are you telling me there is not Tetris on this thing. That is. And then do I press game? I think it said press game to... Oh no, it says... To... I'm, I'm building these rectangles, aren't I? 
What do I do with that? Do they then disappear at the bottom of the screen? This just... No, I just died. Huh. Well, I don't quite understand that, but I have to say I am incredibly disappointed. <laughs> disappointed that someone's come up with some sort of weird block building game which isn't Tetris. I mean, maybe it's Tetris if you turn it upside down. No, it's not. That is... Oh. Uh, that is an appropriate end to that game. And also, I think, probably the video. I think perhaps the most entertaining feature of this entire thing isn't any of the ten games. It's this slow opening. I mean, it's dramatic. It says, wait for me. I've got something to show you. Turns out it hasn't got anything to show you. There we go. That is the uh, Innovage game player. Um, disappointment, I would say, for only fourteen ninety nine. Hmm, we can do some better portables than this to talk about, aren't we? Thanks for watching.